Mick DuPont, Chief Security Officer with TALUS Australia and New Zealand. Thanks for joining us on Australia and Space TV and welcome to Indo Pacific 2025. It's a pleasure, thanks for having me Chris. Mick, uh, Chief Security Officer uh, and also for t being TALUS, it's a defence company, but uh, we just spoke to Zoe Thompson, Head of Critical Infrastructure Protection, so really now more into critical infrastructure as well as defence. Maybe introduce us to your role sort of day to day as Chief Security Officer and particularly for physical security as well, right? So as a Chief Security Officer, my primary duty is protecting TALUS, our staff, our intellectual property and the facilities that we run. We've got the great privilege where we run a number of strategic facilities on behalf of the Department of Defence, some that are somewhat irre irreplaceable, I should say, uh, and that's a real privilege. But we have a lot of threat vectors. So we have criminal groups, cyber groups, foreign intelligence services, the risk from inside and others. So my job is primarily to protect us from those threats and their tactics and procedures that are changing every day. And uh, you have a national footprint as well, I imagine even with New Zealand. Yeah, different jurisdictions, I suppose. What type of asset bases do you have in, in Australia? So we operate across 38 different facilities across Australia. We also have staff embedded in a number of ADF headquarters and bases across Australia. Uh, we have our own corporate offices and we have what's most important to protect our manufacturing and repair and maintenance facilities. So we maintain most of the Australian surface fleet for the Navy. We also undertake a lot of munitions manufacturing, weapons movements and a whole bunch of other really sensitive areas. So the challenges are different across different jurisdictions but similar from a national scale where we have foreign adversaries that are interested in targeting Australia regardless of state or territory or jurisdiction. Well you really are on the front line, how have you found the landscapes changed because you've had the job for, for some time now but yeah this is a very uh, complex environment that you're operating in. It is, I, I was previously running security at Commonwealth Bank and now we're really into this really difficult stage where the geopolitical situation has changed, TALUS is a global leader in engineering, cyber and defence is a key target of a number of adversaries. But one of the big changes I've seen is that even across the critical infrastructure businesses here in Australia, they are now targets and can be seen as operating on the front line. So we've seen in Europe with Russia and Ukraine where there's targeting of commercial facilities, commercial manufacturing locations. This is something new and something we haven't experienced in Australia. So what I'm seeing is energy, ports, food even, transport, aviation are all now targets for adversary groups that previously only targeted government agencies or the military and they're using really advanced tactics, techniques and procedures and some industries aren't ready for that and they're not aware of that big geopolitical change. It's also the convergence of the technologies as well, uh, something, things like facial recognition, artificial intelligence on security platforms as well, uh, things like surveillance and your, your video uh, surveillance systems as well. There's huge crossovers and now. It makes your job not so much challenging, a bit more exciting and a, bit, a lot more sophisticated <laughs> than what it could have been, right? Yeah, I mean, there's two areas there, like biotechnology, AI, big data, they're winners in the boardroom and the battlefield, so that yeah. technology is paired. And equally, the bar for sophisticated attacks is now lower. So we're seeing cyber criminals use AI to undertake mass attacks looking for vulnerabilities so they can hit a thousand companies in a day rather than one or two when they used to manually have to do that type of attack. So we're seeing the technology being used against us. It's a great thing for society, but it is a little bit scary. We're seeing drones, we're seeing others used against our facilities. So we have to be on top of that. It's ever changing and the controls that we put in place to defend against it, they have to change as well and they have to adapt. The other one is your partner network. I take it this is not in a silo for you and your team. Uh, you deal with your partner network as well as other critical infrastructure operators uh, to you know, maintain those standards and uh, keep current with uh, the current trends. The great thing about security is we're pretty open at sharing what we're seeing and how we're countering it. So we work really closely with a range of other defence industries, a lot of government agencies and departments, but also other critical infrastructure suppliers because they're seeing the same threats. So we actively share with them, compare controls, understand what the threats, and particularly learn from our industry partners overseas. So normally we see targeting occurring in Europe and America before making its way to Australia, which gives us a little bit time to be prepared. 
but you have to be monitoring that threat environment so you're not caught unawares. Well Nick, you're a known leader within the security industry, it's great to be talking to you finally for the first time I can't believe uh, on Australia and Space TV. Enjoy the rest of uh, Indo-Pacific here and uh, obviously it gets the, you know, the insights that you have into the own technologies uh, here with TELUS Australia. I take it you might want to not so much play with some of these toys but deploy them in your own physical security environment. It's right? pretty exciting, there's a lot of really great capability here and I look forward to enjoying the conference. Enjoy Thanks the rest Chris. Of Pacific. Cheers.